Hi everybody, welcome to Proud Fertility. I'm Nathan, I'm the Managing Director of Proud Fertility, a surrogacy and egg donation consultants in Canada. Today we have a proud um, surrogate, right? And a proud intended parent, and we're gonna ask them some questions and hopefully they'll share some of their experiences with us. So, um, can you tell us your journey? Um, proud surrogate, like, what, did you have a baby yet? What happened, or? Yeah, so I delivered early July. And it was a little boy. That little baby right here. Yeah. So time's gone by. It's been four weeks now. Seems like yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Come look at the baby. Come over here. Come closer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well, um, basically, I'm going to ask you guys a couple questions. And um, do you guys, like, what's your relationship been like? Uh, first of all, do you have a relationship with your egg donor uh, as well? Yes, we do. We're still keeping uh, contact with her because actually from the first time we, we, uh, we thought it was a good contact and we, we stayed in contact with them. So we will visit her. Uh, You're going to visit her soon? Probably same, okay? next year too. So because we didn't do it yet. So you have a friendship with we your... We have, yes. Yeah. Good. So you did a known egg donation. And what about your relationship with... Your surrogate. Ah, that's very good. That was fun. <laughs> you guys like each other a little yeah. bit? <laughs> from, from the first contact. Yeah. So uh, it was, uh, yeah, it felt like actually very familiar. It did. It really so did. So we uh, exchanged a lot of WhatsApps, uh, telephones, FaceTimes. We went here. Uh, she saw my parents too. The, her family saw my oh, parents. Oh, so you visited before. Is this like yeah. the first time you came to Canada? No, or? no, no. It's already the, the 11th or 12th. Uh, so I visited this almost all provinces in Canada. So, okay. Uh, and second time to visit me. So. Yeah. yeah. So, they, yeah. so they, visited, they visited you on your surrogacy journey. Yeah, in May. 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 Yeah. May. Yeah. May. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Um, for every, everyone watching, like um, some intended parents, even if they are from a Western European country, they can come and visit you and, and whatnot, kind of thing like that. So um, I'm really interested in knowing, like, are you guys going to keep in contact? after you go home, or how will that work out? Oh yes, that's for sure. I've already told that we will come back next uh, next winter. Mm -hmm. Winter? Yes. <laughs> Why? Don't come. <laughs> oh yes, yes. We want to see all the snow here, so. <laughs> yes, a lot of snow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you know what, I, I want to ask you a little bit, um, proud surrogate. Are you going to, um, do you feel like you're going to miss this baby? Do you feel like super attached to it? Like how are you feeling? Once um, your intended parent leaves, like you're not going to see this baby physically anymore. No, I'm not. Um, there's really no attachment there. You know, we started off the journey knowing that it was not my baby. Um, I'm carrying the baby to help complete a family. Uh, so there was really no issue for me personally about feeling attached. Um, Miss him, of course. You know we've we've gotten close, and it's it's been a month now. But it won't be anything that a FaceTime and messages and contact. We'll miss you too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll miss you yeah. too. <laughs> that it will. Uh, and you said something really interesting yesterday, uh, proud surrogate. You told me that it was a mindset. Tell me about what you mean by it was a mindset from the beginning to the way it is now. Uh, so when you start the journey, you need to kind of set out on your expectations, what it's going to be like. And so for me personally, I, the mindset was, it was, the baby's never yours to keep. So it kind of helps. Uh, it was a very intentional pregnancy. Right, of course. And so you have that mindset. <laughs> yeah. So um, did you have, what other, do you have that expectation that you always will keep in touch? Or you just have this expectation that it's like more of a gift and we'll see how it goes like well we've had the conversations that life gets mm. busy you know we've gone days without talking before and that is bound to happen once they leave they have the life their life that they need to get back into and routine that they need to get used to and same with same with me right my life is going to continue on mm. uh, but I think both of our expectations are kind of we're going to keep in touch and mm. right yeah. and uh, and it's not that we are going to feel distant if we bond even a week or two just because we know like I said life gets busy and yeah. even during pregnancy we right. did not send every day so no. 
we know it's busy, right. we all have work to do, so we have our own families. So. But that's what also kind of makes it feel, um, it feels more natural. Because yeah. I don't mm. have to feel like I need to send yeah. you guys a message yeah. every day, which yeah. is, it's, it's a nice feeling. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, so tell me, fast forward to this birth, mm -hmm. um, and, and not just the birth, but when you first met your, your son, mm -hmm. it's a boy by the way, in case you didn't notice, <laughs> um, tell me your feeling when you met your son. Like, I know exactly how I felt when I met my daughter. Give me all the raw feelings, proud and tentative parent. Oh, it was a little crying, it was just very glad, but I was concerned too about, about uh, the surrogate, so I went to her immediately afterwards to check if everything was, uh, was fine. So, uh, it was, of course, it was feeling getting mm -hmm. very close. I think the, the best gift you can get. So best gift yes, you can get, for sure. absolutely. <laughs> and is this one of the best gifts you've given, proud surrogate? Well, I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no big deal, just a baby, right? Um, I guess for me is, how did you feel um, the minute your uh, intended parent received his gift? I was really happy. Uh, it's a bittersweet thing. It's something that you so, wait sorry, for. What did you say? It was a bittersweet. Bittersweet. Okay. So you wait so long, you know, pregnancy in general, whether it's surrogacy or your own, it's a long journey. Um, so it was, it was a nice feeling of relief that he's here and he's healthy and you guys are here and, uh, but it's at the same time, oh, it's come to an end, but at good time because it is hot out. <laughs> so. Okay, funny story. So you said the minute you had the baby, then what happened? You just said, Okay, it's cute, something like that. And then, yeah. okay, but tell us. I was very excited that I had the baby and it was healthy, but I was very excited to be able to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. It was What's, a long couple of days, and, and that too, not having to um, <laughs> do the normal newborn routine, I, I didn't have to. Do you have kids of your own? Yes, two. <laughs> two. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. And and what what's your family been? Um, what what how what's their support? Like, do they are they excited? Are they? Oh yeah, I've you got just great go behind the back and just do it without yeah. their consent. I've got uh, great support. My husband's very supportive as well, and um, we were lucky on both sides of our family. Not like it really would have mattered personally, uh, but it's nice to have that extra support. Mm -hmm. um, but no, they were they were great. So. Yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah, with us too. Yeah, so you got to know um, your surrogate's yeah. husband. Yeah, the children. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite cool. That yeah, makes okay. part. They make part of the the story. So, right. Uh, part of the story. Important to to get to know them. Mm -hmm. Even my parents, they liked it. They liked to see uh, the family. So right. Okay. It's cool for them. Yeah. So what, um, how, what's it been like for the last month since you've been a dad now? Isn't that crazy? Oh, You're like a dad. Yeah. <laughs> last month it was, you, you meant, during since this, this month since, since, since he's been he's born. born. Since he's been born. <laughs> okay. But quite busy, of course. It's, mm -hmm. it's a whole chain of life. Mm -hmm. We get up now every two to three hours. So, <laughs> it's, it can be uh, exhausting. Right. It is, it is. Yeah. If you are changing, yeah, so I'm doing the night shift, like we say it, and then yeah. uh, do a by, switch. Yeah, yeah. switch. switch. switch yeah. Exactly. Otherwise, uh, you get exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. Words of wisdom. <laughs> so we're going to ask the proud intended parent. If someone who is an intended parent happens to see this video, what are some um, words that you would say to them? I would just say, uh, if you are ready for it, just uh, go for it. So uh, it's it's. I think it's the best gift you can get. So uh, if yeah. you're really motivated to do it, <laughs> that's go, a really go, go, go practical on. advice. If you want to do it, just go for it. Mm -hmm. And I think I remember speaking to you like a while, you know, right from the very beginning. You know, once you make that decision, like everyone's gonna feel a little nervous, but you just. Mm -hmm. you, focus on the end goal and hopefully yeah. everything works out and it really worked out well for you. Yeah. Um, what would you like to say out there to other women out there who are considering being a surrogate or being an egg donor? Do you have anything to say to them? I just want to say it's it's a huge gift for people not uh, having a chance getting children naturally. Right. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to say a big, big, big thank you. So that's... Mm -hmm. Best gift in the world, so. <laughs> How about you, surrogate? If someone is watching this video and they are a potential egg donor or surrogate, is there something that you would say to them? Um... 
it isn't a decision that you should make lightly. You know, it's it's a very big one, but it's very worth it. Uh, I mean, in in the big picture, in my opinion, you know, it's such a short amount of time to give a life uh, long full of happiness. So uh, for me, it was a pretty easy decision, but <laughs> not everyone, and that's and that's fine. Um, do your research and ask questions because a lot of the time it's just. You don't really know everything about it. It seems a lot scarier than it really is. Mm -hmm. And take that leap of faith. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you're in good hands. And, uh, if you're with a consultancy like Fertility, we are there every step of the way for the intended parent or for the surrogate. So that um, really helps when they speak with intended parents. Mm -hmm. And you have your chance. support system. Yeah, yeah. When they speak with other surrogates too. Right. Like some more information because having more information is can be easier mm -hmm. when they are adulting. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today on this Facebook Live. Um, you have been able to meet this beautiful baby. Why don't you come in and zoom in and say bye to this little baby going back to Western Europe. Oh, hey, cutie. Cutie sleeping, yeah? Yeah. Aw. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And that is Proud Fertility Surrogacy Egg Donation Canada. Thank you for joining us today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.